Nearly all word processing applications include features such as spelling and grammar checks, and CorelDRAW is no different. In this video, I'll demonstrate several CorelDRAW writing tools that will help you create error-free text content. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. I have this document open, and I'll first see what writing tools are available. When I choose Text Writing Tools, I have options that look familiar from other word processing programs, Spell Check, Grammar Check with Grammatic, and Thesaurus. Before running any of these checks, I want to make sure I'm using the right language. Because I can assign different text objects to different languages, I'll first select the text I want to identify. Then I'll choose Text, Writing Tools, Language. I have US English set for this text, but I could choose other versions of English or other supported languages. Now I'll double click in this text frame in order to edit it. Before invoking any of the writing tools, I can already spot a few spelling errors. As in most other writing applications, I can right-click on an underlined word for some suggestions. Choosing any of the three writing tools options, or pressing Ctrl F12, opens the writing tools window, with a tab for each tool. I'll start with Spell Checker. Because I'm already in edit mode for this text frame, my options are to check the entire frame, or just the current paragraph, sentence, or word. The first identified misspelled word is this highlighted proper noun. Here is a list of suggested replacements, and I can replace, or skip, or skip all instances of the same word if I want to keep them as they are. I could also enter my own replacement if none of these work. If I want to add this word to CorelDRAW's dictionary so that it won't turn up in future spell checks, I can click Add. I can customize the spell check by clicking Options. User word lists contain some common mistakes and their fixes, and I can add my own by entering them here and clicking Add Entry. If I choose the Add option during the spell check, that word will automatically be added to the user word list. I can click Language to switch dictionaries, and here is a list of types of checks I can turn on and off. I'll continue with the check, and the spell check will scroll through the rest of the misspelled words. Note that the writing tools will also run even when no text is open for editing or even selected. I'm back in my uncorrected document, and with Spell Checker, I see the same errors pop up, but I don't have the highlighting I would see if I were editing the text. Next, I'll try Grammatic. The options here let me choose the style of checking, informal, formal, technical, fiction, etc. This comprehensive check looks at complete sentences and indicates what the problem is, spelling, missing words, or other grammatical issues. Any errors that would be found by a spell check will turn up in a grammatic check as well. The thesaurus can be used to find definitions, synonyms, antonyms, related words, etc. In the options, I can decide what I want to find. I'll choose synonyms, related words, and examples. I'll enter slumber and click look up. There is one verb and two types of nouns, and I can find synonyms and related words. Another handy text tool is QuickCorrect, which affects text that I'm currently entering. QuickCorrect works in the background. I don't have to turn it on or off. Choosing this option opens the CorelDRAW options to the text page and the QuickCorrect tab. The first four options are for correcting common capitalization errors and for creating a hyperlink when typing a web address. I can also choose from several options for quotes and double quotes. Below this comes a list of replacement text. Many suggested replacements are automatically included, such as several symbols and dashes, common spelling errors, and some capitalization errors. I can also add my own replacements, such as replacing GD with graphic design, and clicking Add to add this to the list. I'll check Replace Text while typing. I'll close the options, and for the new replacement text to take effect, I need to close and reopen CorelDRAW. Now when I type, corrections or replacements will be made automatically. Note that Quick Correct only works on text that I'm currently typing. It will not correct existing text. If I want errors to be identified even when not text editing, 
I can return to text settings by choosing Text Writing Tools Settings. In the Spelling tab, I can choose to keep automatic spell check running and to show errors in all text frames. I can also add corrections to the list of replacements in Quick Correct. This window also has tabs that control the display of recent fonts, options for paragraph text frames, and text display and default size. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on writing tools in CorelDRAW. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.